If you were looking to have a doctor in the family, here you go. The Bone Doctor from Kevin John. You gonna love it. Welcome my friends, Kevin John. They keep doing it. You know, the Venom 2, the Venom Attacker, Oh gosh, a bunch of different knives. And of course, the Harpoon, Bone Doctor, the Armor. I have uh, three in my possession. The Bone Doctor, the Armor, and the Harpoon, which I love these knives, they are so great. Okay, but this video, I wanna talk about the Bone Doctor. Zirconium insert on the bolsters carbon fiber inlay on the front and the back tritium insert in the titanium milled pocket clip looks like steel hardware screws etc it's not titanium the bone doctor and we have an insert which is seamless the way they did like the venom attacker if you guys have ever had the venom attacker it's just seamless. You don't you don't even feel the insert here. You, it's just if you close your eyes, you'd never feel it. Uh, they didn't do it though on the back. Isn't that interesting? They could have, but they didn't. M three ninety. It would have been neat if they'd have done it both ways, like they did on the Venom Attacker and the way they did it on the Armor. Crazy knife as well. Let's get this confusion out of the way. They come in a zipper pouch. All these three different knives have and all the Kevin John Venom knives I've had came in this kind of a pouch. And, you know, so it's nice. I mean, there's no box. It's, they just come in a pouch. Why start outdoor knife and tool? Cirilla. And I emailed him because I have his email address and said, dude, I'm gonna buy, I wanna buy like four different knives and they're all fairly expensive. Could you make me a deal? And he did make me a deal, so it was great. And then he shipped them DHL, which is even better. 8.67, 3.86, and how heavy is it? 142 grams, that's not too bad. Not too bad. In fact, let's weigh it up. Good looking knife though, isn't it? Oh, one more. There we go. Centered, no blade play, no lock rock. Like I said, zirconium on the bolster. How neat is that? Uh, if you actually click on that link, uh, when you go into the thing that says description, you click on wherever that is, it'll, draw, it, it'll bring you to a page where it'll show you multiple views of this knife and point out the different things has jimping on the flipper tab ergos are good i've carried it a few times pretty good or pretty stout uh detent on this i was gonna say good stiff isn't necessarily good just depends on what you're trying to do with the knife how you're supposed to approach opening the knife etc the design pretty much flows obviously you can see the back of this blade which doesn't help it'd be nice if it flowed into this bolster area but apparently you know the way the thing is designed to wrap around this blade stop i mean it just has to be that way so they left this unmolested as far as putting carbon fiber in there and that's fine it's still looks pretty symmetrical to me backspacer really finishes the knife let's not be lazy let's get a backspacer on there <clears throat> open designs just don't thrill me as much anymore uh, maybe on a on a you know a kind of a budget uh user knife okay maybe a little easier to clean out etc but other than that, if we're going to dress, if we're going to have a knife that's going to be three hundred dollars, let's put a backspacer on it, and let's do something interesting with the backspacer. Then we've got the lanyard hole. Like I said, tritium insert. So uh, I don't know. Doesn't too much lighting in here. 
<clears throat> to see it glow. Really nice grind on here. Will the knife be a knife? Well, let's find out. Well, ah, okay. Don't come back and cut my hand. Yes, it seems reasonably sharp. Like that. Piercing, slicing, shouldn't be a problem. No cutaways or anything into the blade, so you can't really open it by, you know, flicking it open, that kind of thing. The flipper tab's your only solution there, and it's jimped. It's pretty intuitive. Put your finger right on it, bam. And I'd say the detent is adequate. I mean, more than adequate. It's in the stronger mode, and we never did weigh this knife. God dang it. Sorry about that. It's under five ounces. That's pretty light. In fact, the Harpoon, its stable mate, is probably pretty close to that as well. Wow, almost the exact same weight. Almost the exact same weight. Uh, let's go to, yeah, 140 grams. So very light. Stronger detent, this is a much lighter detent, but extremely smooth, just extremely smooth. This one, stronger detent for sure, really nice hydraulic drop to it. Good looking knife, of course we had this one tested, so yes, it's real M390, HRC was close to 60, and 60 to 62 is your you know, kind of your prime spot for the HRC on an M390. So this was 59.6, I believe. Really close. Nice. Fit and finish are really world class on this knife. And the Ergos is, oh man, they're really nice in the hand. Light for what they are. They're a good size knife. Uh, you know, bigger than uh, fancy there, the paramilitary two. <clears throat> Choke it up with the uh, Recon One. And now we got some competition. Recon One is definitely bigger. How about the best tech? Yeah, uh, the Swordfish is bigger as well. But the swordfish is pretty much nine inches. Uh, the bruiser, two you knife bruiser. This might be closer. Yeah, that's probably real close to the same. So let's throw the tape on it. We ha I keep moving the tape to a different location every time. Not quite four inches here. Getting close, but not quite four inches, so under 100 millimeters, and not quite eight and three quarter inches, 8.65, 22 millimeters, right on the dot. And how thick is it on the handle part? 14.2, 14.1. 0.55, not bad, not bad. It's not overly fat. And there you go, four millimeter blade stock. Should be like a 0.16, there you go. So, you know, fairly stout blade stock, not overly fat, but you know, since the paramilitary and a lot of knives are under 0.5, under a half inch, uh, but there's some that are half inch or thicker, so this is not bad. It's not that unusual. It's definitely not that heavy. And the action's really nice on this knife. Really nice. You almost run out of room on that flipper tab to hit you on the thumb before that thing gets over the detent, but it does. It does. Just world-class knives. I really like these Kevin John knives. You know, traditionally, Kevin John has 
made some really cool knives, some really good original designs, but they've done clones in the past as well. Uh, in any case, kind of give you a little bit of background. I mean, if you ever knew the CKF uh, knife called the Deboya, this obviously uh, is a Kevin John Venom 2 knife, and it's not that Kevin John copied the CKF. Kevin John made this knife. This is a little deal that I'll give you. It's uh, something I found online, and I had a viewer that uh, that has a blog that wrote this story about uh, Russian design, Chinese high-end knife making, ATEC reviews. Check his blog out, and I can give you the link to his blog as well. It's not called ATEC reviews. But you can pause and read that. It's really an interesting story. And you can pause and read that too if you want. Otherwise, I'll give you the link to this as well. Gives you a little insight into the connection between <clears throat> the early CKF thing, Kevin John, that kind of deal. And of course, the new concept, Venom new concept, was actually sold on Blade HQ. Not anymore, apparently, out of stock. But I had this knife as well. And of course, like Venom 2, Venom Attacker, like I said, a lot of different knives they've made with original designs that are really nice. So I enjoy them for what they bring as far as original designs are concerned. And the Harpoon, the Bone Doctor, and the Armor are just excellent, excellent knives. I'd say these, for the money, are some of the best knives I've ever had my hands on. Thank you so much. You know what we do around here. We love them knives. See you guys. Stay sharp.